Hi again, Greg Hughes here from 90 Second Website Builder. I want to talk to you about publishing your website. In another video, I showed you the more common and probably the easiest way to publish your website, and that is to simply click the Publish button, create a location that connects to a server. So for example, when you want to publish a website to a server, you will have created a location to that server, an FTP connection it's called. So if I wanted to publish this website to this particular web hosting account, I need to tell 90 Second Website Builder where that is. And I get the credentials from my web host provider, configure them into my location here, and then save them. Every time I want to publish then to my server, I would just simply click Publish and choose this location, and then publish my website. That's the standard way, that's the common way. But 90 Second Website Builder also gives you another way to publish your website. And I'm gonna show you that in this video. The reason you'd wanna know another way to publish your website is because sometimes there are issues in publishing directly from the software to a particular host. And here's why. When 90 Second Website Builder generates your website files and then sends them to your web host, it has to go through your Windows operating system, which contains an FTP engine. Without getting into all of the technical details, what's happening is your Windows operating system is allowing 90 Second Website Builder to transfer files to your host. But sometimes that FTP engine in your Windows operating system might not be cooperating, or for whatever reason, you need to get your files to the server and go around that. So that's why you're also able to publish your website locally, and then through another FTP program if you want. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm working with a website here that's just a demonstration website. It's a website with two pages, video, it's got text, it's got images, it's got a lot of different things to work with here. Let's say I wanted to publish this website, but not go through my Windows operating system, not go through my FTP engine. So in other words, I'm, I will not be publishing to a server through FTP this way. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna publish locally. And what does that mean? What that means is I'm gonna generate my website files to a folder on my local desktop, on my local computer. Now on my desktop, I've already created a new empty folder and I've called it Fanbase Formula Website because that's the name of this website. And that's where I wanna store my website files locally. So to set that up, I need to do this. Let's go to publish and we're gonna create a new location and it's called local folder, as opposed to the standard FTP connection. This is what you would normally do, and that's what we've been talking about. But in this case, I wanna publish locally. It's much simpler, because all I need is a description, and even then, this is optional, but this makes it easier. I'm gonna call it fanbase local, so I can remember what it means. I don't need the URL, but I can put it in there if I want to. Most importantly, what I need to do is I need to tell the software what folder I wanna publish these website files to on my computer. So I'm gonna click this little button here and browse to my desktop where I've created a folder called the Fanbase Formula website. I'm gonna click this, click OK. And you can see here's the path to my desktop and the folder on my desktop. And this is where the website files will be generated. So I'm gonna click OK and we're ready to publish. But before I do, let's go look at that folder. I wanna show you something. I'm gonna cancel out of here for now I'm gonna minimize the software. Now here's the folder on my desktop. If I open it up, you can see currently it's empty. There's nothing in it. And I want you to see the contrast when we do publish. This is what an empty folder looks like. Obviously there's nothing in it. But let's see what that folder looks like once we've published a website to it. So let's go back to the software and I'm gonna click publish. I'm gonna choose the location I just made. Remember I called it Fanbase Local. This is the folder it's gonna to publish to. And I have some options. I can publish my entire website. I can publish just the selected page only. This website happens to have two pages, so if I just wanted to publish the index page, or if I wanted to publish just the selected page and subpages if I had them, if I had parent-child pages, in this case I don't, or just the pages that are currently open. Right now I have both pages open, and so I could just publish those. In my case, that's the entire website anyway or I can just publish pages that are using master pages. So I have a lot of options. In this case, I'm gonna publish the entire website and I'm gonna publish all files. Now, why wouldn't I publish all the files? Sometimes you wanna only publish the HTML files. 
And the reason for that is because if you're publishing subsequent times, if you've published your website and then you make a change to it and the change you make is minor, let's say you just change some text or you just change something that doesn't affect any images, you don't need to keep republishing every image every time you publish. The publishing will go faster, the uploading will go faster if you just publish the HTML files. So in this case, I haven't published anything. Remember the folder was empty. So I wanna publish all the files. That means the image files, all the JavaScript or any extra files that support this website, I wanna publish everything. And in this case, I'm not gonna make a backup. Okay, so we're ready to publish locally. Let's just review what just happened. All we did was we created a local location. I called it Fanbase Local. I connected to an empty folder and I decided how much of the website to publish. That's it, that's all I've done. I'm gonna click publish and you'll see this will go very quickly because we're not connecting to a server. It's generating the index, the video, and all of these files, remember I said publish all files. And on this website, there are 27 files. There's only two pages, but there are also other files. Things like images and CSS files, font awesome fonts, and things like that. So a website consists of many, many more files than just your pages. There's also images and JavaScripts and things like that. So in this case, this two page website is actually 27 files. So let's get out of the software for just a minute and let's look at that folder on my desktop. What was empty now contains a bunch of files. In fact, 27 of them. Here's my index page, my video page, other supporting files, as well as an images folder, which contains all of the images on my website. Okay, so now that I've got a local version of my website that I've stored on my computer, how do I publish without using the software? I'm no longer gonna publish directly from 90 Second Website Builder. I wanna go to my web host and publish. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to publish with your file manager in your web hosting account. If you're using a cPanel host, your host will provide you with a cPanel that contains something called file manager. So let's go open up the web hosting account for this. Okay, so here I am inside my Cloudwire web hosting account and cPanel provides you with a feature called File Manager. This is your File Manager. Your cPanel may look slightly different, but if you use a cPanel host, it'll probably look something like this. If I click on File Manager, I'm gonna to go to that interface. Now the File Manager shows you all of the files, including the system files on your web hosting account, most of which you don't need to do anything with. The only one that you're really concerned with is the public HTML, which is a folder that stores your website files. In other words, the files that are public, the ones that will be seen on the internet. To go inside my public HTML folder, I need to double click on it right here. Now here we are inside the folder and it's virtually empty. The only thing in here is a system folder that you'll really never need, but that's part of the web hosting account system. So I've got an empty public HTML folder because I've got a hosting account with no website on it while well, we're about to put one on here. The way to do that is to go to upload so that I can upload my local files, the ones that I put in my Fanbase formula folder on my desktop, I wanna put them in here. I have a couple different ways to do it. One is I can just open up the folder on my desktop and drag the files into this box. So let's do that with a couple of them. I'll drag this one into here and it uploads, it's done, that simple. Let's do another one. I can drag this one into here, and now I've uploaded a second file. Let's see if we can drag multiple files. I'm gonna move the camera down here, and I've just been dragging the files like this. Let's see if I can drag multiple files. I'm gonna use my shift button, and select several files, and drag them all in. And sure enough, I can. It's uploading all of those files. The other way I can do it, instead of dragging them in, is I could just go to select, go to my desktop, open that, and then I could also select files for uploading like this. And that file gets uploaded as well. I find that by dragging them in, you can go faster because you can multiple select files if you do it that way. And if you happen to overwrite files, it's gonna ask you what you wanna do. So I've multiple selected all these files. I'm gonna drag them in. Here's what happens if you 
are uploading files that you already have uploaded. It's going to say, are you sure you want to overwrite these? And in this case I do. So I'll say yes. And so all my files are uploaded except for one very important set of files. You'll notice all we uploaded were the files out here, the web pages and supporting files. We didn't upload any images and here's why. File Manager doesn't allow us to upload a folder. We can upload the contents of this folder, but not the folder itself. So here's what we need to do. I'm going to go back to our File Manager interface. So we're back to cPanel, File Manager, Public HTML, and you can see we've got all of our files here that we've uploaded. But we don't have our images folder, and it's very important that we have one. Well, what we have to do with File Manager is we have to actually create a folder. And you'll notice that there is a button up here that says plus folder. That means we want to make a new folder. Well, we can make a new folder as long as we're inside our public HTML folder right here. And we click new folder, we'll be making one. So let's call it images. Needs to be spelled exactly right. It needs to be lowercase. It's very important that this matches the syntax of our local folder. And now I have a folder called images, which is empty, but I can upload to. So I'm going to click the upload button, go back to my local folder, and here are the image files inside my images folder. And I'm going to, again, multiple select them. I realize some of this is off camera, but you'll get the idea when I do this. I'm uploading seven files, image files, into the images folder. One of them's kind of big, so it's taken a few seconds longer here. But you can see that they're all uploading, and now they're all 100%. Let's go back to cPanel and File Manager and Public HTML. There we go. There's our entire website with the images. We can actually go look at it online. Let's check it out. And there we have it, a working website that we published through File Manager in cPanel. So it's just an alternative way to publish your website. Again, if you're having trouble with your Windows operating system or a firewall connection to your host, this is a way to go around that. Obviously, it was a few more steps, but it's just another alternative way that 90 Second Website Builder gives you to publish your website to the internet.